Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So if the Steam is open, go to Steam, click on exit and then launch Steam once again and then check if that does not work, restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Also allow the game exe file from the protection history in Windows security. So open Windows settings. Open Windows settings, go to privacy and security and then go to Windows security. And then go to virus and threat protection, click on it. And then go to protection history. This may take some time to load up. Now, at the top, very top over here, you can check one by one or at the very top, you will find this protected, uh, protected folder access blocked click on this down arrow and click on yes to allow and over here you can see your administrator has blocked this action sbwin64 shipping.exe so this is the game exe file so you can click on action over here at the bottom and then click on allow on device and then click on yes to allow now if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee Whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder and then open the select this exe file. So you can open again, click on add and allowed app browser apps, and then open SB folder binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on open and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now over here, open SB folder, binaries, win64, and then make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check still not working then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and Follow the next step. You can do the same thing with the first exe file and then check. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click in the game, select properties in the launch option over here, type in DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, make a right click once again. This time you can type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working, then in that case you can remove it, empty it and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to delete the config file, config folder. But let me inform you, all saved settings will be lost. To delete the config, uh, you can go to this documents folder, open still blade folder, open this folder, open this folder, Windows no editor, and here you will see the config file. So you can make a right click. If you want to create a backup, you can create a backup and then you can delete this file and then check. If that does not work, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder, open your username folder, 
open app data if you don't see app data over here at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder open sb folder saved folder here you can see the config folder if you want to create a backup you can copy this create a backup and then you can delete it and then you can check if that does not work rename or delete the save game files now when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first now to rename or delete the save game files you can go to documents here you can see the game folder copy this folder and paste it to the desktop so create a backup first once you have a backup now you can rename this folder and then you can now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game file this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select man uh, select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check if that does not work the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GE Force game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default, Express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next. And then you will see this screen. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now still not working. In that case, the next step is to use display driver uninstall that is ddu to clean and reinstall latest graphic card driver now for this uh, if you have this installed you can launch it if you don't have it you can maybe download it find it in the google and once you install this you can launch this display driver uninstaller click on yes to allow and then you can select your uh, device over here uh, select your gpu and over here, if you have NVIDIA, select NVIDIA. If you have AMD, select AMD. And then click on clean and restart. Once this is done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go to NVIDIA websites and then perform, uh, install the latest graphic card driver and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphics settings in the Windows search box, go to graphics settings. And then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder open sb binaries win64 select this exe file and then find the game in the list Now, once you find the game, click on the game. Now, over here, you will see GP preference. You can select high performance and you will see a graphic card over here. Now, you can again, you can click on add desktop app. And this time, you can select the first exe file and do the same thing. Select the first exe file, click on add, select high performance, and then you can launch the game. Next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update for update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system will start you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website, you will see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64 version. So download both the files. So click on it. Now, if you see the repair, you have to run this exe file first. Download this x64 file as well. 
Now, once the download is complete, you can run both the files. So click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Now, also run this x64 file. Again, click on repair or install and then click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete. Once install, you have to restart. You can be restart in a must after this, after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the BIOS and after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you, if you have portas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer disconnected, disconnect extra controller connected, disconnect multiple monitor. Now if disable steam overlay, now for this you can make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab, turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, then open NVIDIA app and then go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off overlay. Or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Do not overclock. So if you have overclocked your computer, set it to default, then close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner or Uber Tuner running, you can close it. If you have any kind of third party services, or application running, close everything. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted the computer. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB, so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So, we will open calculator. So, type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. 15, 1. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the, reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage. Now click on uninstall. 
after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel